Hello everyone, it's Daphne and today I have for you my first impressions of the Mark Beauty Iconic eyeshadow palette in shade Glambition which means that I received this palette for free from Influencer and Mark Beauty and I am trying it on for you for the first time. The story behind the palette is that I received it on Friday when I was starting to get sick and then I got sicker and sicker. Right now my tonsils feel huge, that's why I am talking weirder than usual. I know that some of you love my calm voice while others don't. Well, today I am more calm than usual because it's a great effort to talk. Nevertheless, I really wanted to get this video up because I'm so thrilled with the palette. I have made some swatches. I'm going to insert them here. And here they are still on my arm. As you can see, the colors are very pigmented and very rich. They're just the type of colors I prefer wearing on a daily basis. Some of you ask me on Facebook why I'm not showing you some more vibrant colors. That's because I'm not 25 anymore and my preference lately goes for neutral colors that I could wear all day every day. On a different note, you have to stay tuned for my Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture video that has some very intense colors that are totally out of my comfort zone. As for this palette, I can tell you the colors are very creamy. The ones that should be pigmented are pigmented. There are two colors that could be used as a base, which are lighter. There are two shimmers. There are three mattes. There is one matte with gold flecks in it. And the names of the colors are She Was, is this base color, is a my, my skin color basically, with a bit of a pearly. Then Infamous, which is a great transition color. It's a sort of a mauve pink top. Known for is a copper gold shimmer. Seeking another darker mauve color great for transitions the most is glittery rose gold over the top is cocoa color and glamour which is black with gold flecks at the first swipe the colors are easy to pick up from the palette they go on seamlessly they blend very nicely they agree very well with my texture. Of course, I wore a primer, I always do. I did not wear the primer they included in the palette, but I went with my Urban Decay Potion Primer in Eden, the one I always wear. My first impression is that this is an awesome palette, but I will show you so that you can be convinced as well. To begin with, my eyelids were prepped with the Urban Decay Potion Primer and then with a bit of Makeup Forever HD Powder. This is the beautiful new palette from Marc Jacobs. The shade names are written on the back so we don't forget. As you see, I will start with the lightest shade called She Was, which is a pearly buttery color, just perfect as a crease and all over base. I am using a large fluffy brush to coat both my eyes with this color. Next, I will be taking a crease brush and using the shade Infamous inside the crease to give my eyes depth and make them appear a bit larger, deeper than they are. Of course, everyone wants to achieve this effect if possible. 
I'm using a crease brush from Zoeva. I've already drawn my eyebrows on and most of my makeup except for lipstick and the eyes. Now blend, blend, blend. As you know, that's essential. Next, I will be using the shade over the top, which is a warm cocoa brown. Remember, this is my first time using this palette. These are my first impressions. So far, I find that the shadows are pigmented and easy to work with. There is a certain degree of fallout, but yeah we kind of expect that from such pigmentation and on my right eye i applied a larger amount of eyeshadow which i will have to compensate for by adding a bit more on the other eye you see this is the beauty of makeup there are no wrong ways to do things you just have to have an eye for balance and proportion and a good quality eyeshadow to work with good quality doesn't mean expensive it just means something that's easy to manage by everyone even if you're not a makeup artist then i take a pencil brush and i use the shade infamous at the beginning of my under eye then i continue with shade over the top to line under my eyes as to connect where the darker eyeshadow is and you see that line that i exaggerated there on my right eye i did my very best to blend everything together but somehow it was rather stubborn you know how it is i tried very hard to cover it all up and by the end it was fine and then i take the shade the most which is a shimmery pink and i wet my brush with fixing spray and then I add it to my eyelid to have more color. I love shimmer. This is a very pleasant beige pink, peachy pink. A very nice color for the eyelid. I had to dip the brush several times because I did not think of getting a larger brush. I add the same on my brow bone because who well, doesn't like sparkle and in the inner corner of my eye. And check out this beautiful makeup. I keep on blending it. And of course Floki behind me is exploring the way he always does. So what do you think? As you saw from the video, the colors are great from most skin tones, from very pale to darker. There's a shade in here for everyone. I think making eyeshadows with seven colors is a great idea because this is just enough to travel or to keep on the vanity for a day-to-day -day wear. I'm really liking this palette and actually I already envisioned it as my <coughs> daily slash travel palette because it is so nice and easy to grab the packaging well it's mark jacobs it's extremely luxurious it opens like this it closes like this with a clink i really like the sleek black look i'm guessing that i'm going to buy the big palette that mark jacobs generally put on the market around Christmas because I want to have them all now that I am convinced of the creaminess of the colors. I can see myself creating many looks from a daytime look to something more extravagant using this palette. So far so good. My impressions are very good and I want to thank you for hanging out with me and for watching this video. I know some of you are coming here from Facebook, so hello, hello. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, thank you for being here, for 
watching, for commenting, for being so supportive throughout my journey of discovery. Have a wonderful day and don't forget to give this video a like and if you're not subscribed, why not click that subscribe button. Bye bye!